What's going on, Collectives? Happy Tuesday. It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in, Collectives. I am so excited to bring you your Tuesday message. So let's tap in, Archangel Michael and Alekwa, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as I tap into this wonderful message for the collectives. Thank you so much to my new subscribers and to my all my OGs. I love you guys. We are really growing. All right, so let's tap in. Let's see what you got going on this week. The full card. On the bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Wands, all right? This is a public defender, all right? So right now, somebody is going through a lot of anxiety, all right? Somebody feel like they want to jump off the roof. Somebody feel like a fool for a risk that they took. You know, the fool call is the first call out of the tarot deck. It, it, it speaks about risk. Now, all risk is not worth the rewards being offered. All right? Somebody took a huge risk. All right? With either a queen of wands or somebody that is now the results of their risk, the results of their actions landed them in some type of legal <clears throat> trouble, landed them in some type of court case. Somebody felt like a fool. They want to jump off the roof. All right. Um, this it, it, this is an on. This has been an ongoing battle. All right. Um, things might not be happening quick enough because it's a public defender. Somebody might not be having the the correct finances to to hire. Somebody that's more professional, somebody that is more insightful and good at what they do when it comes to eating up a case, winning a case. But somebody really is finna jump off the roof. They're going through too much shit. Somebody stressed the hell out when it comes to this court case, when it comes to this public defender. The news that they've been hearing, the experience, it got somebody wanting to end it all. All right, but ending it, um, that's never a good thing. So, but somebody is stressed out. The Queen of Swords. The Painter. So, what I'm getting is this Queen of Swords had the perfect picture. I don't know if you were the Queen of Swords, I don't know. But somebody in a queen of swords energy, the swords is mental. All right. It is the mental. It is the solutions. It is the problem solver. It is the one that has all the answers. It's the one that usually is making the judgment calls. So it's looking like there's a queen of swords here that had a perfect picture painted for their life, for the direction that they wanted to go. Okay, so I don't know if it's this Queen of Swords that had this perfect picture painted is going through legal things with somebody and somebody feeling like they want to jump off the roof. This could be a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Swords going through a legal case and a legal battle. All right. But I feel like somebody had the perfect picture painted. For their life. And now. It doesn't feel like that. No more. Something is happening with court. That's creating this perfect picture life. It's 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 damaging the. The portrait. Um, With this painter. I don't know. I'm getting like this person just paints things. Like they paint pictures of things. Like um. Like an illusion. Um, for a lot of you guys, court could have impacted your your way of life, your your talents, your gifts, your skills. 
as a painter or as somebody that is very talented. All right. Somebody could have just chosen wrong, the wrong life where instead of becoming this amazing painter or actually acting on the things you painted for your life, you, someone ended up in the streets and courts, a lot of legal um, things, involvements. Remember, this is retrograde energy. So whatever that's not fixed is going to come back. Oh my gosh, death. This is the death card. Somebody got some bad news, y'all. Somebody is, is, is really going through a lot of health problems. There's an ending happening here. All right? I don't know what's going on, but somebody pressure is up. Somebody... Physical manifestations, whether it was worrying about money, job, career, this legal case has manifested in somebody's spiritual concerns, right? Somebody's worries has manifested in the physical. All right, there's a queen of wands and queen of swords here. So I don't know if they go into court because of some type of health issues. I don't know if they go into court for something else. But this court case has either one of them or both of them feeling like they want to jump off the roof, all right, and unalive themselves. Or this is the information that they got back from a doctor, all right? Maybe these are the results for their actions. <laughs> you hear me? Maybe this is the results for their actions and the... The news that they got, the results, it's something about some type of results that they got, got them feeling like they want to jump off the roof. They took a lot of risk that involved bad health. Okay. Ciao. This is not the, the picture perfect life. This queen of swords painted. All right. Neither this queen of wands. All right. These are results for their actions, y'all. Somebody paid a big price with their life. Somebody paid their karma with their life. All right. You cannot be going around just giving your body away to anybody. You can't be taking risk like that because every risk is not worth the reward you think you get. All right. Not worth the reward at all. Chow. <sighs> Mercury is retrograding. <laughs> you hear me? Mercury is retrograding. All of this is coming back. This happened before. All of this is coming back for them to fix, for them to clear up. Just stay calm. All right, there's Queen of Wands. You could be a fire sign. There's Queen of Swords. You could be um, an ear sign. All right, but this is two feminine energies. Spirit, give me more on this food card. Damn. I'm going to put that back. Spirit, hold on. Let me put this. All right. I want to try to see. Spirit, give me more on this food card. Wow, friends. So, this is a group of friends. All right, this is fucking with the wrong friends. This is this is having friends with benefits type shit. This is a group. All right, somebody risk fucking with the wrong group of friends, the wrong crowd. You hear me? This group of friends, this crowd got them in a lot of shit. They got them in legal shit with this queen of wands or this queen of wands is in legal shit. There's this picture perfect life that this queen of swords painted. 
and resulted in death. I don't know what this group of friends was doing to get them in bad health and legal trouble, but it wasn't a healthy set of friends. Literally. And you you know what I'm picking up? So you remember that show Friends? All right, that show Friends, one of them just passed away. So maybe there's a situation where one of your somebody friend is going to pass soon. And for some of you guys, I'm picking up if somebody friend passes away soon, the detectives in the in the legal system is going to think that this queen of swords or this queen of wands did it. Or this could be a case for that. This could be a case for that. All right, yeah. Grief and sadness. You hear me? This situation is going to end in grief and sadness and in a funeral is what it's looking like. Don't this look like a funeral? All right, this is some type of picture that somebody's painting. All right, to act sad, but in all reality, it's trust issues. Somebody did something. <laughs> that's biting them in the ass spirit give me more on this queen of wands please and thank you like if somebody chose to sleep with somebody all right this pussy dead ass was to die for <laughs> you hear me it literally was to die for all right spirit queen of queen of wands please this public defender Shadow work. All right. This queen of wands need to do shadow work. All right. They've been too involved with legal things where they've been given all the power away. They've been letting, allowing a government to determine things for them. And they need to focus on them. So in this time, there's going to be a lot of of experiences where it's going to cause them to hug on them, to love on them. God is about to isolate this queen of wands to do some shadow work. They need to do some shadow work. They've been too dependent on a system. They are too codependent. Yeah. So God, so I don't know if this is a fucking, um, a divorce or something, but there's an irreconcilable final breakup and divorce here. It's final. So the decision that was made in this legal system or this legal battle, it's final. And a decision was for this queen of wands and whoever she was going to court with or for to split ways and to never, ever, ever be with each other again. That's determined. This is a irreconcilable final breakup. So there's nothing that could fix this back together after this legal case. So that's done, yeah. And it's causing this this Queen of Wands a heartbreak on a on a whole different level. Something big happened in this case where they, they lost tremendously. The outcome wasn't what they thought. All right, there's a devastation on a new level. Okay? And it's because of this conflict that they're going through with a masculine. It's looking like the mask thing probably won a case or something, or there's just a lot of tension around. Maybe this is the masculine that want to just jump off the roof. They feel like a fool for even getting in anything with this person because of the maturity, because of the communication. All right. This was just a whole lot of bad friends environment, a whole lot of unhealthy shit going on. All right. There's a lot of tension and conflict because of the results here. All right. So spirit, give me more on this um, queen of swords, please. And thank you. All right. Worth the wait. Pause. All right. So this queen of swords feel like it's worth the wait, but it's definitely a relationship break here. All right, spirit, give me more on this queen of swords. What's, give me more on this queen of swords. What was her dealings with this whole energy? Letting go. 
So she's being called to let go of this picture perfect life that she's painted out for herself because it's not happening like that. It's not aligned with her purpose. It the, the picture perfect life she painted at this paint as this painter was an illusion. She's she is to release and let go. Because again, this there's some type of irreconcilable final breakup and divorce here. It's final. Something happened to where it's not never going bad. All right. Somebody probably even her or somebody else has moved on. Okay. And somebody is content with that. So good for y'all. All right. Anything else on this Queen of Swords? Damn. All right, yeah, so she was to let go of a relationship. All right, she was to let go of a false narrative in love. She painted this picture-perfect love story for herself that now is the time for her to release that, that, that illusion and let it go. All right, for a lot of you guys, the, whatever these people's done in this group, this friends together, all right, not only did they pay with their life, but they paid with their freedom when it comes to this legal and all of this stuff. Spirit, give me more on this death card. Oh my gosh. Somebody is weighed down because of this. Somebody felt like they got the world on their shoulders because of this news. All right. Somebody is stressed the fuck out, taking on too much. And that's another reason why they probably got bad news as far as they health. They stress the fuck out. All right. Somebody feels alone. Somebody feels isolated. Somebody feels like all of their broken dreams and broken promises is just shattered. All right. Somebody's been drinking a lot. All right. And it's because of this third party energy. All right. This was a third party energy between it's looking like a masculine, a queen of swords and a queen of wands. All right. There was a lot of infidelity, poly and interferences here where all of them sleeping together caught up to them. And when somebody wanted to split in that poly relationship, they didn't like it. And one went to the legal system and brung it there, all right? And one was still painting this picture-perfect life in some sort of fairy tale illusion that they created for themselves. They were like in, in the Lulu land, all right? All of this, because of this third party, because of the results, all right? They have paid the price with their life, all right? There's nothing but tension, coming from this there's nothing but low vibrational energy there's nothing but negativity and everybody is heartbroken on the next level everybody the the women are screaming at the men the men are screaming at the women they're like how the fuck what the fuck is going on all right and the results of all of this is still Ending up having to break that poly relationship. It's looking like they was friends first. All right. And decided to create a poly relationship. Letting things be. All right. And then it just probably got out of hand to where the y'all, the whoever this um, in a fool energy feels like a fool for even starting a poly relationship. All right. Somebody feels really, really isolated with this information or how they feel. All right. And there's going to be a lot of shadow work done because, again, somebody also was forced to give up that illusion of love. That's not love. What this is not love that this poly relationship is not love. All right. And if this is what y'all call love, this shit was literally to die for. This love, okay, literally was to die for. 
Literally, look, the love of car and the death card. This love that they've painted, their, this poly relationship was to die for. Literally. Now somebody's still forced to let go. Somebody weighed the hell down, stressed out, everything manifesting in a physical. Might want to jump off the roof. Too much stress. All right, because of this poly, it all surrounding this poly relationship. Filled with a lot of negative things. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. Hope you guys feel better in a situation. This should just teach you not to like do these things because ain't no relationship worth dying for. <laughs> ain't no pussy. We're dying for you hear me and I okay all this shit is because of retrograde this shit coming back so the people karma coming back all right the planets are revisiting what the fuck they skipped over so it's gonna be a lot of stuff coming out like this because we are in retrograde and baby mercury is retrograde <laughs> Okay, so I love you guys and I hope that helped.